Hello, in this video we'll be looking at the um, equations of motion um, for objects moving with um, constant acceleration. Um, they're often known as the Suvat equations. Okay, now, first thing I'll be doing is defining what those letters S, U, V, A, T stand for. So, these they are in fact vectors, so direction matters. So, as they are um, directional and their vectors, S, which is must be displacement rather than sometimes called distance. U is the initial velocity, now displacement in, is in meters, initial velocity is in meters per second, um, written as m s to the minus one, you may be more familiar with meters per second, but we need to learn to write things like that. V is the final velocity. Again in meters per second. A is the acceleration. Which is in meters per second to the minus two. And you may be, may be more familiar still with meters per second squared. And finally, T is the time, and the units of the time are in seconds. Seconds, which is also S, wonderfully confusing. Okay, so those are the, the, the letters, and now we'll write down the um, equations that um, have developed um, from the definitions of acceleration and velocity. So. Okay, this is first equation I'm going to write down is V equals U plus A T. Okay, call that number one. Second equation I'm going to write down is S equals U plus V over 2 or times time. So effectively that could be displacement or distance is equal to average velocity times time. Which of course um, you remember that speed or average speed is equal to distance divided by time. And from there, it's a very, very useful equation. It's having nothing vector form, but it doesn't matter. So therefore, that's like distance equals speed times time. So here we've got distance equals average speed times time. Okay. Number three, slightly more complicated. Well, it is more complicated. V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. And number four is S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Right, now, this equation here, which I'll star, um, I, don't, I don't encourage students to use it un unless they really have to. Often students, in my experience, use it incorrectly when one of the other three equations should be used instead. So be wary if you find yourself having to use that equation. Um, this one here, I'll, I'll, I'll put a little like that marker next to it opposed to a hash. This equation here, now very useful equation, but be careful. If you're using this equation and in fact time here is anything but naught, then you're going to get yourself a quadratic equation, which you have to use here in the quadratic formula, which is easy to make mistakes with um, and takes a long time. So rather than use this formula here, it's better really to try and manipulate effectively one and two, and uh, maybe use two equations instead rather than using this one here. Okay, so let's give a simple example of one of those equations at work. Now, let's say, um, let's get a very simple situation here. Let's say we have 
a car initially at rest. Okay, so questions often use words like that. Um, initially at rest, um, accelerates to say 12 meters per second in five seconds. Okay, so these are the conditions written down. And then say calculate the average of the acceleration. I could say average acceleration, but the acceleration is always constant, so that's in, in some way it's, it's irrelevant. Because if it wasn't average acceleration, uh, if, if it was an average acceleration, if the acceleration was changing, then the equation wouldn't be relevant. So here we go. So start off by writing down S U V A T, just like that. Then you decide what you know. Do you know the displacement? No. Do you know the initial velocity? Yes, initially at rest. Zero. Do you know the final velocity? Yes. Twelve. Do you know the acceleration? No, but that's what I want to find out. And do you know the time? Yes. Five seconds. So we've got one, two, three. Now we want to know four. So three out of four um, gives us um, a result. So therefore, we write down the equation we want. V U A T. Oh, therefore. V equals U plus AT. We'll use that equation here. We'll put, put in the values. Any negatives? No, we don't need to worry about negatives. We'll go in the positive direction. So therefore, 12 is equal to 0 plus acceleration. We don't know. Just leave it as A times 5. Or 12 equals 5A. And then, of course, A is equal to 12 divided by 5, and that gives us 2.4 meters per second to the minus 2. Okay, so this is a nice simple um, equation that shows you the standard physics type way of analyzing the text, writing down variables, um, choosing the ones you need to use, choosing an equation and then giving um, an answer.